February 10th, I went to work again. There was a knock on the door, boom, boom, boom. And I said to my fellow worker, I said, Willy, Willy Forbeck is his name. I said, Willy, I get it. He said, okay. So he went in the room and sit down and start eating, you know. I opened the door and there stood two guys, about six, four, six, three tall, with that long, dark leather coat. And he lifted up his lapel from the coat and there was the badge. Geheime Staatspolizei, Gestapo. He said, are you Karl Schnippi, Karl Heinz Schnippi? I said, yes, I am. He said, you know why we are here? I said, yes, I do. I had said, who me? No, no idea. I would get it right away. You just had to look at these guys. I mean, they had feet that big and hands like a toilet seat. I mean, they, they, oh, they use it. They know how to use it. We heard story enough how brutal and, and mean the Gestapo was. I said, yes, I know. He said, come with us. I said, can I change clothes? I had my whites on. He said, you come as you are. I said, OK. So I yelled to Willy. I said, Willy, I, I have to leave for a minute. He said, OK, OK. Leave for a minute, seven years. And then they drove me downtown to Stadthaus, where the Gestapo headquarters is. And there the interrogation started. He, the first question he asked, did you listen to BBC London? I said, yes, I did. He said, how, how often? I said, oh, maybe three, four times. You're a liar, and your friend told us many, many more. I said, that's not true, then he is lying. And I thought, oh my God, I hope I get away with this. If him would give in and I lied to them, I wouldn't sit here. They would have killed me the same day, you know. And then they said, uh, they asked, did you see some leaflets? I said, yes, I, I knew about the leaflets. Then he asked me, do you know Rudolf Wobby? Then I knew they have Rudy too, you know. Then the question came, give us names. Who are the adults behind you? I said, there are no adults. And that triggered it. Then I got hit, you know. They could not believe that three young men did this organization, this resistance group, without any help of adults. They could not believe it. 